Hey there fellow tennis junkies, today we're going to be taking a look at Selenko's new racket, the Whiteout 305. I got it early. So if you guys are huge racket nuts, kind of like me, you've probably seen these new Selenko prototype rackets kind of circulating around the forums and that sort of thing. I'll throw up some pictures of them with the white out paint job and the all black paint job. So the all black Selenko racket is going to be a hundred square inch head size with roughly 300 grams unstrung. So that's going to be kind of like your pure drive and that sort of thing. That's what I was told by my rep. Um, but this white out 305 is the official name. Um, I didn't even know that I'd be getting sent the retail version, but uh, I got surprised with the retail version, so I got the early paint job. So this is not just completely whited out, this actually has all the specs listed on it. And right now I'm going to go ahead and show you a super up close look at the, at the paint job, um, at the way that the handle is shaped, um, and kind of just the way that the racket looks. So as you can see here, um, the butt cap just has their normal logo. I absolutely love their logo. I don't know why. It's just something about it. I don't really like the Babylon logo. And the big Wilson W takes up the whole racket face. And it's always bothering me. So that's something super stupid that I love about these racket, this racket already. Um, and then right here in the throat, you can see um, they have the logo there as well. The throat kind of reminds me of a... Um, the throat kind of reminds me of like a blade. The beam, as you guys can see, it looks kind of similar to like a blade um, and like a speed combination. Um, that's kind of how it feels in the hands. Um, so the, the beam gets a little bit wider as it goes up near closer to the head of the racket, up closer to the tip of the racket, which kind of makes me think that this is going to play really quick, but with a lot of control still because it's not super thick of a frame. Um, and as you can see up here in the very top, we have the Selenko logo. And there's also a, or sorry, the Selenko name. And there's also a paint color um, change, it's like a gloss. So it goes from like a matte, half of the hoop is a matte white, and then the rest is a gloss paint. Now full transparency, I hit with this racket for about 30 minutes or so. I don't, I don't really feel like I got good first impressions. So I'm gonna go ahead and restructure a lot of my, um, a lot of my racket reviews where I'll kind of talk about the racket, show off the cosmetics, explain what kind of player um, it's intended for, and then I'm going... Anyway, getting back to the, the way that the racket looks, as you can see on the top of the head guard here, it has Selenko on there. This kind of reminds me of a Technofiber head guard without the holes on it. Um, and then there's also the white out on the side right next to the head guard um, with the white on one side and out on the other side. So the vibe that I'm really getting from this frame is going to be kind of the control of a blade with the swing speed of like a head speed. And that's kind of what I got from that first 30 minutes was that it's actually a lot lower powered than it looks like it would be. But I feel like I could swing really quickly. I really didn't get much of a good first impression. So we're going to go ahead and hit the court. And um, yeah, we're just going to hit the court and kind of see what I think from that initial first hit with ground strokes, volleys overheads, serves, um, approach shots, all the above. And I'm just going to be using a ball machine for this, um, for this review. Um, another thing to take note um, is that I went ahead and strung it with my string of choice, Selenko Confidential 16L um, at 48.5 pounds. That's so hopefully it'll be a good combo with the racket. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and head out there. All right, guys, so I made it out to the court. Um, I've already had a couple warm-up balls, just kind of get myself moving. Um, that's why there's so many over there. But we're just going to start out with just some basic ground strokes. I'm going to go and start out with the forehand side. Nice and smooth. Kind of like warm-up ground strokes. You know, like a casual rally ball. I can already kind of tell the racket's a little bit light for what I normally like to use. It seems just a little bit too headlight. Kind of like a, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It just feels very headlight, but it does allow me to really um, drive up and get some extra spin. Kind of like that. 
which is nice. Um, I feel like a lot of rackets feel really unstable if you don't put any weight up in the head. Ooh. Hit that sweet spot. Man, that feels great. You can definitely hear a sound difference. That sweet spot is just, if you hit it, that's the best feeling racket. Wow. Yeah, if you hit it right in the middle, it feels great. And yeah. Oh no. Turn off. It feels great on my arm. Um, just with those basic shots. Oh, I'm out of breath. This is gonna be super weird. Um, yeah, I think that they have some sort of yeah foam tech core is what they call it. So they have some foam in the uh, in the actual racket. <laughs> kind of makes it feel more comfortable, I think. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of ramp up the forehand speed a little bit. Maybe try and hit a little bit more aggressive and see kind of how I feel about the racket then. Still just doing forehand. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm kind of figuring this out. It seems to me like if you're going to be an aggressive player, this racket's it. If you can still hit the sweet spot. Yeah. If you get a full cut at the ball, this racket feels great. But you gotta get that full swing. Or else it feels a little bit underpowered. Spin feels good, but I gotta keep it intentional. It's tough to just, there's no natural spin. But with that little bit of weight in the head, I feel like I can kinda add it a little bit easier, you know? Um, yeah, I can already tell this is this is definitely for an aggressive player. Let's go ahead and move over to the backhands. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the backhands now. Um, as many of you know, I hit a lot flatter of a backhand than I do of a forehand. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'm just gonna start out nice and slow. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna really like this on the backhand side because of how light it is in the head. It kind of allows me to just not really slap the ball, but you know, get a little bit more racket head speed, especially since I hit so flat. Um, I'll make it easier to kind of drive it. Yeah, that feels good. I can already tell I'm, I'm gonna like this on backhands. Oh man, yeah. That, the, the little weight in the head kind of allows me to fully control, um, not fully control, allows me to really accelerate a lot easier than a lot of frames that I've played with. Yeah, I really like that um, on those casual backhands. I feel like I can direct the ball a lot easier with that little bit of weight. It does feel a little bit unstable if I don't hit the sweet spot, which as you guys know, I'm not great <laughs> at tennis, but um, Whenever I hit that sweet spot, I feel like I have com complete control of where the direction is going to go. Now, those were just casual. I'm going to kind of speed it up. See, kind of like a match, a match ball that I would hit. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, starting now. Yeah. Throw in a little bit of a drop shot. Maybe. Oh. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's kind of weird to have a little bit of less control um, of the actual swing, but control of the actual ball feels awesome. I feel like I can redirect it with that little bit of weight in there. It allows me to kind of move the racket after contact, um, and it makes it 
feel a little bit more comfortable going for a bigger ball. Yeah, like that. I love that shot. Yeah, with this racket, I just feel like directional control feels great. Let's throw in some one-handers, why not? Oh yeah. So good. <laughs> yeah, this racket feels good. It kind of makes me think of a Makes me think of like a speed. Um, yeah, like with the speed, there's a little weight in the racket, but um, it kind of still lets you control it a lot better than you would likely assume. Um, yeah, I mean, ground strokes feel solid. It doesn't feel particularly special in any way, but I will say like it feels very comfortable on the arm um, and it's definitely a low power racket like it. It allows me to really generate my own pace, which is what I love to do. Um, yeah, I mean, so far, ground strokes feel great. Really, really like them. Let's go into volleys. I'm not a huge net player, but I definitely want to take a look at the volleys. Um, I like to play a lot of doubles. So often when I'm playing the net, it's really quick points. Like it's just like one or two volleys points over. Um, either I miss or I, I put it away. Um, I don't like to have these long rally exchanges at the net. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of take a look, see what I think about in terms of stability. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's the same deal. If you hit that sweet spot, man, that feels awesome. Ah, okay, let's see. Try and put a little bit of underspin on these. Oh man, okay. Mix it up with some backhands over here. Okay. It seems like if you can hit that sweet spot just right, racket feels great. But in terms of volleys, it feels much more unstable than it did in ground strokes. And that could be due to the, the very little weight in the handle, or uh, excuse me, very little weight in the head. Um, but I mean, honestly, if you're just an aggressive player, this is going to be the frame for you. You know, like it just seems to me like, oh, like closing in at the net, um, like just those little shots like that are really going to drive. I'm going to try and approach the net here and kind of see how it goes. Okay. Starting now. Let's try that again. All right. I mean, they feel okay. Ground strokes are definitely better. All right, and that's all the most. You know, ground strokes definitely felt better. Um, I mean, the volleys weren't bad necessarily, but I, the ground strokes felt great. I feel like I could truly attack them, but at the net, I can already tell this is gonna feel a little bit more unstable um, than I typically like. It might be worth it to add just a little bit of lead tape to the head, but um, if you're a baseliner, this is probably gonna be this is probably gonna be your frame. So we're gonna do some serves, and uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look at those. Okay, if you guys have seen any of my video reviews before, you know serving is a big part of my game. So um, we're gonna go take a look at some serves. I'm just gonna kind of warm them up, kind of get the feel. I haven't taken any serves yet today, so I just kind of want to gradually get up to full power. I definitely notice the light head. Um, I have a feeling that it's going to feel great to hit those big kick serves, but I'm a little bit worried. Um, a little bit worried about those flatter serves, if it's gonna feel like any weight is really coming through the coming through the ball. Um, that's always been my caution with these lighter weight rackets that are on the market. But we'll go and speed it up just a little bit. Okay. Man, I mean, this, the spin feels great. You can. You can really, really manipulate the head of the racket 
with the way that they designed this. Until I miss hit a ball completely. Act like that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. See if I can hit some flat ones. Kind of go for a little bit more. Yeah, I mean like, I feel like there's a lot less mass going through the ball. But I have a lot of control over the head of the racket, which for me is a big factor um, when picking out a racket because I love to hit my kick serve and my slice serves, especially on this ad side. Try and throw in some slices. Starting now, you guys didn't see that. Throw in a couple slices. Yeah, I mean like, it feels okay. That's my honest opinion. It feels okay, you know? I mean, it's not my favorite serving racket. Um, oh wait, let me test one thing, hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah, you know what? Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the one I'm gonna, no, I'm kidding. Um, no, but the surfs felt pretty good. My only thing is I, I would maybe put some weight up at the 10 and the two position um, because I feel like with my personal serving um, choice, I'm gonna struggle with getting some extra power um, out of it it does feel really similar to a blade, you know? I mean, like overall, the racket is definitely a mix between a speed and a blade, like I said earlier in the video. You get tons of speed whenever you accelerate just because of how light it is. Like, it's weird. I, I feel like I haven't played with a racket like this in a while. Um, I normally modify mine, so maybe that's part of it. Um, but yeah, whenever you just kind of like go through the ball, it feels great. Um, just because you have so much control over the head of the racket. Um, at contact but my worry is playing up against the bigger hitters you might get kind of pushed around a little bit so um i mean if you're an aggressive baseliner you like to step in really just attack the ball this might be a really really good option for you definitely should keep an eye out but if if you play more defensively kind of block things back you're going to struggle um like on a normal ground stroke you're it, the ball's just gonna it's just gonna go back over it's not gonna have anything on it you know and that's a little bit dangerous um at a more competitive level. So I would definitely keep it in mind if you're a big aggressive striker um, from the baseline. If you're not, I would probably wait it out, maybe demo the, the black one, um, the, the 100 head size, which is also a little bit lighter. But um, yeah, I mean, overall, I really like this frame. This is going to be a potential um, future frame for me, um, a potential pick for me. I really, really like how aggressive I can play with it. Um, so yeah, I mean, if, if you guys have tried this out or have any thoughts about the Whiteout 305, just drop them down in the comments. And um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any sort of racket string, anything like that you wanna, want me to go ahead and check out, drop it down below. I'll do it as quickly as I can. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.